told not to come, but to be honest, I think it's just, it doesn't matter how much it costs, whatever you'll do any. And then the chance, we, we knew there was no guarantee coming in, we knew there was a chance it couldn't work. But to just have that hope of something might work, was, you've got to go for it. And anybody in the same position would, and if you wouldn't, then I'm, I'm telling them, like, go for it. So it seems like if this is what, this is what we hope for to give them any sort of improvement, whether it was 1% improvement or 50%, any improvement is better than what he had. So it's, it's, it's got to be, it's worth it to say that and it's worth it. We noticed when he was a baby that he wasn't focusing on that and his eyes kept like just wandering. Um, so we took him to our local GP twice and they said he was all right. Like it's just, he's taking longer for his eyes to get fixed. So then we took him back to the hospital to see um, his consultant and he's the one that noticed straight away. So then he got sent for MRI scans um, hormone tests, and then he found out that he had SOD. We were told there was nothing he could do, and basically that was it to just get on with it. And then we were warned, it was funny because about a year ago we were warned by his ophthalmologist there was a stem cell therapy thing going on in China. And then 12 months later, we seen in the paper about Dakota Clark and her family coming over and the um, improvements that they see. So as soon as we read that, we just went for it and found out all the risks, what could happen, what could not happen and things like that. And then just fundraised to get the money. Our friends and family were all for it because it was to obviously help them. So everyone was backing us, but the doctors were not because they didn't know much about it themselves and they didn't want us to come because it's not over in the UK either. So we just carried on fundraising and then made an appointment to see his eye specialist who told us about him. And he said that if he was in the same predicament, he'd do the same for his own children as well. But to be honest, the evidence proves itself when you come over and see the results you do. So definitely come back. Well, he's, he's not walking yet because it must be confidence that he obviously can't see where he's going so he doesn't want to walk. His balance still isn't up to scratch because of his eyes. Um, his appetite's not that good. He always eats the same things all the time and that's if he'll eat them. But he's, he's, it's like he's slightly slower compared to a normal three and a half year old. Um, he had a mobility officer that come out every once a week um, to come and try and get him obviously mobile, took him to the school he's going to be going to, walk him round, that sort of way, and a visual impairment teacher that come out. But the work they did back home is not compared to over here because even if he doesn't want to do it yet, he's made to do it and think that's what sort of brought him on. He's an happy kid, he, he likes to be left on his own, sort of in the corner, listening to his music or watching his cartoons. He doesn't like loud noise or really being a dance or the children. But since we've come like over here, he started you know, more with other children that have come with families and he's just happy. He's come out of himself a lot as well, his confidence is really built since coming and achievements and whatever else. So he's had eight stem cells. Well, he has his eighth one tomorrow. Um, he's been having physical therapy, um, electro wave therapy and acupressure. Um, he enjoys the acupressure and he enjoys the electro wave therapy because he's just got to lie there. He hasn't got to walk, he hasn't got to do anything. He just lies there. Um, he enjoys that. The physio, he 
doesn't enjoy because he's getting made to do it. But all in all, I think all of it helps. With the stem cells, I think the rest of the treatments have helped along. Without them, he wouldn't, I don't think he, he's obviously got the vision he's got from the stem cells, but I don't think he's a come on, his confidence would have come on and whichever else, so. No, you can hold objects up in front of him. Like, after the second treatment, we started noticing differences, but we still thought it was too early to take them for granted, so we just, like, got on with it like we have been doing until yesterday. We started holding, like, little coins up about this far away from him, and he's reaching out and just going straight to it. He's not feeling about like this. He's just grabbing the, the coin or pen or straw or whatever you've got hold of straight to it. After the second stem cell. After the second stem cell we were holding his like his bottle and things like that in front of him both this far away. Um, and he was reaching for them. And then after about the four stem cell, the four fifth stem cell, we were getting to smaller things like straws and tempies, little small things and he was reaching for them. And after this fifth stem cell, he told us he wanted to move the pram. And we asked him, you know, can you see the pram? And he crawled right over to it and just pushed it over. That was a good three foot away, I'd say. So I think big things like that, he can obviously notice more, they're easier to see, but he's still got the sight of small things closer to him. His bowels seem to be moving a lot better because his bowels will go to the toilet like maybe once a week. But now he's going like every other day. So it seems to be helping him with that as well. In the room, he's walking now from the door to the bed on his own with no help. But obviously as soon as you go into the hallway, he's, he's not familiar with the thing. So he doesn't, he walk holding your hand. But beforehand, he was just dead unbalanced and wouldn't walk sat down after a couple of steps, so it's good. Since we've came and he's been having physio, he's got a lot more confidence in himself about standing up. And he'll like grab hold of the wall and walk around himself or walk around the bed on his own and he just starts to go where he wants to go now. But where he'd never do that before, he'd just normally sit on the floor and like crawl if he wanted to go somewhere, but now he'll crawl to the wall and stand up and just shuffle his way around. Yeah, yeah, he's got a lot more confidence. To be honest, we, were co we, we didn't expect to come over and see the changes we have seen with his walking and mobility. I mean, the people at home have worked with him for two years, so um, the six weeks we've been here, we've seen more changes than we have done back home. The way he is now compared to before we come, it, it's already changed him. It's already given him a better quality of life now. So hopefully over the next couple of months it'll just keep getting better and any more results, just from the results we've seen here, we're definitely going to come back.